all my viewers and subscribers this one is like a lover's rock type of reggae you know what i mean um this one is you know entitled if i had the word by mr dennis brown the prince of reggae and this one is actually a request all right so the cards that i use to play this song is g if i had the word to a minor to c back to g yeah. So it's a one to two, four, back to one. And you continue playing that on over. You know, just keep looping that. All right, so for those who, don't know, who do not know how to farm this, by the whole third fret, place that middle finger on the third string, fourth fret, pinky finger on, the fourth string, fifth fret, ring finger on, the fifth string, fifth fret. If I have, and you want to go now to the two, which is the A minor, you want to come all the way up to the fifth fret and you want to bar that, place that ring finger on the fifth string, seventh fret, and place a pinky finger below. Or you can just use one finger there get a minor seventh so that's a minor seventh or a minor all right and then for the four now you just want to bar the whole third fret place the ring finger on the second third and fourth string of the fifth fret and you want to strum from the fifth string then you go back to the one it's very simple all right so how this song is played it's a one strike all right so Here's an example. <clears throat> if I had the world, I'll give it to you, yeah. So stay, stay on the one to the two, <laughs> to the four, back to the one. All right. So at times when it's going to exit the chorus it goes on the way to the F to the E minor so F F major to the E minor right there all right so that F major is like that C right there so you just want to bring it all the way up here to the 8th fret and same rule applies and right behind it you want to form that E minor so you want to bar the whole um, 7th fret, place that middle finger on the 2nd string, 2nd string 8th fret, pinky finger on, 3rd string, 9th fret, ring finger on, 4th string, 9th fret. Or you lift the pinky finger to get the minor 7. So it's a... But use the minor, sounds much better. Alright, so it sounds something like this. If I had the word, let's say this is the last part of the chorus. I give it to you, yeah. No. Back to the one. Angel, to me, you always give. You know what I mean? And if you're playing with a full band, concentrate mostly on the thinner string. Alright? So you can get that sharp sound, you hear that? If I had the word, I'll give it to you, yeah. You're like an angel. You know what I mean? That's basically. It. But then there are times when you have you hear something like this. So you go. If I had the word, I'll give. Back. If I had the word, you know, so it's every now and then. To get that, you want to come all the way up here, and this is your, is this your 10th fret? Yes, it is your 10th fret. 10th fret, 1st and 2nd string, you don't want to slide to the 12th. See? You just want to jump real quick back to that 1, that G. Alright? Yeah. That. If I 
and you continue with that. And that's basically the sum. <laughs> it's very simple. And there's no stock lines. It's that simple. Yes, it is. Dennis Brown, Lover's Rock, if I have the word. Very sweet song. Now, guys, if you like this tutorial, put it down there in the comment section and drop more requests down there. Challenge me, you know, put me to work. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, do so now. Hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, hit all so whenever I post a new video, you will be alerted. My name is Zion. Blessed love. I'll see you next time with another tutorial.